What is going on everyone? I hope everybody's enjoying their week or had a great weekend. If you're new to my channel, please think about hitting that like and subscribe button and hit that bell notification. That way you don't miss content when I drop it. And today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of my brand new vlogging camera. This is the Panasonic G85. But before I do that, we're going to take a stroll back to memory lane. And this is the camera that I'm actually replacing. And by replacing, I don't mean I'm actually getting rid of this. I'm actually keeping it. This is actually going to be my B-roll camera. My G85 is going to be my new vlogging camera. So I'm going to have two Panasonics. And if you're not familiar with this, I'll have a link in the description and a link uh, probably somewhere on the left side that we'll be talking. I'll do a little bit of... Um, kind of talking about why I love this camera and why I love the Panasonic brand and why this is still the best $500 camera that you can buy, especially if you're starting your first YouTube channel and you're looking for a camera that's on a budget, this would be the best bang for the buck. So I'll have a link in the description on this uh, as well as links onto other cameras that I uh, recommend as well. So we're going to get into the unboxings. Now, the reason why I'm sticking with Panasonic, and the funny thing is if you haven't watched my last video, I actually did a vlogging of me getting this. Um, I was actually looking to get the Sony A6100 because uh, my local Best Buy here in Alaska, they actually didn't have these. They actually sold out, and I actually waited three months for them to get these in, and really, uh, they really weren't really sure when they would get some more in. And so, you know, I waited and waited, and then so my choice was either getting the A6100 or the Canon M50. And if you didn't watch that video, I'll tell you why I didn't want to go with the Canon M50. Um, but just to give you a brief recap, um, I didn't like the M50. I didn't like the way it felt. It felt kind of, I wouldn't say cheap, but it just, it was, it felt really small. And the plastic really wasn't what I would consider, you know, really durable. So it really wasn't a choice of getting the M50. It was really a choice of just getting the A6100. And then so I did a final check on this. And lo and behold, they actually had these at Best Buy. And I actually only had just one. Uh, so if you didn't watch that video, I have the link in that as well. But um, again, we're going to get into the unboxing of this. So let's get into it. So this is basically a higher-end version of the G7. This is a little bit more. This, I believe, is $699 for this one, as opposed to the G7 being $500. This is being $700. So in, in the scheme of kind of budget entry level, it's not really a budget entry level, but it is a pretty decent budget level of camera. Obviously, of course, um, you have the A6100, which I believe is around the same price. And you have the M50, which again, I explain why I didn't like the M50. And I believe that's just about it when it comes to that. I think you might be able to get like the A6000, uh, which comes, I think, under about $100 less than this, about $50 more than the A, uh, the G7. But um, in terms of what it offers at that same price point, um, it wasn't actually pretty bad. I actually love this. And like I said, the Panasonic brand is a great brand. I can use the same lenses that are from my G7. On my G85, I have a 25 millimeter and a 45 to 150 millimeter uh, millimeter lens. This comes with a 12 to 60, whereas my G7 only came with a 14 to 42. This has dual IBIS, whereas that one only has stabilization in the lens. This has it in the body as well as in the lens, so that's actually a good thing. Um, not knocking the G7, it doesn't have that function. Um, this is weather sealed, whereas the G7 is not. So this one I can actually take out, and I can take it out in the, in the cold and in the snow and in some, you know, dust. And I can still get some pretty decent footage out of it. But we're going to get into the unboxing. So, obviously. Um, and the fact that it also works with the same battery that I have with my current Panasonic. Because living in Alaska, you actually cannot order batteries. They will not ship these to Alaska because they're lithium ion. Uh, obviously, if you live in a lower 48, obviously you have that option going to anywhere you want. But here in Alaska, we don't have that option. So um, obviously it's going to come with the familiar familiar stuff. Um, tells you what you can add to this. Um, it can tell you, you know, battery, flash. Um, you can get a adapter to adapt other lenses to this and a power grip, which probably won't be touching that anytime soon. So um, let's go into that. We're going to do, let's see, obviously you've got some literature there. Um, 
the manual. This just tells you all the uh, Micro Four Thirds lineup lenses that you can get, which is actually kind of cool. Now we're going to go into the beef of the camera. So this is going to be uh, well, the lens shroud. I've got like bunches of those, really only three. This is the 12 to 60 millimeter lens, which is I'm looking forward to actually trying this out. Um, I will be doing a comparison between the G7 and my G85, so stay tuned for that video. And this is obviously, I want to know in the, in the comments, uh, if you leave a comment in the comment section, does anyone actually ever use these? I've n I never really used these. I've tried it. I tried a third party one on my G7 hanging around my neck. And to be honest, I cannot do that. It heats up my neck, makes my neck sweaty. And I just find it just an absolute just pain to wear it. Um, but let me know in the comments if you actually use your strap with your camera. So, and then um, let's see what else we got here. And um, the one thing I noticed with this camera is that they gave me a battery charger, which is actually kind of cool. From other videos I've seen, especially with the Sony's, they don't usually give you a charger, which I don't know if this is by design or just they just don't want to do it because they just, you know, don't want to give you a charger. But just like my G7, this one also comes with the same kind of battery charger, which is, again, actually cool because now I have two chargers instead of just one. And I have, you know, obviously the same battery to use with this. So again, compatibility with batteries makes it definitely a plus, as opposed to if I bought a Sony one and they didn't have a battery for it, then I would just be pretty much screwed because then I'd only have one battery. And typically when you're doing YouTube, or if you want to be a YouTuber and you're vlogging, you want to have extra batteries. Again, I live in Alaska, so, you know, getting batteries is kind of hard. So I love the fact that they leave a charger in there, an extra one. So in case I forget one, I have two. And then uh, USB cord for connecting to your computer. And then it looks like this is going to be the battery. Now I won't be actually trying it and turning it on um, as it's pretty late. I don't feel like wanting to, you know, charge it up and then doing another vlog at two or three in the morning. But um, it's the same battery as the one that I currently use as an external. So let me grab that one and I'll show you really quick. This is the BCL BCL12, and as you can see, this is basically the same type of battery this is the BC 12 and we're going to pop that open and I'm going to show you really quick as you can see they are almost identical actually in a way they actually are the same battery as you can see they are the same battery BC 12 PP BC 12 PP so again I have two different I have two batteries for two cameras I have a spare battery so in case one dies I have another one so again, um, that's a plus. That's another reason why I love Panasonic is that pretty much all their batteries will fit uh, the same cameras unless you start going into their higher end stuff, which um, I won't be getting into that. And then we get to the main camera itself. Now, As you can see, it is basically looks the same as my G7 that I'm filming with, but actually I just felt a little bit, I just felt the sensor move a little bit, which is cool because again, this has dual IBIS, so this means it has body stabilization as well as the lens having the stabilization, whereas on my G7 it does not. Um, the same again, articulating screen, full touch, which again is actually cool. Um, pretty much all the functions are going to be about the same on this one as they are on the other one with the um, exception of my where my uh, bottle focus is on this one it's a little bit different but pretty much everything is all the same we're going to um, add the lens to this one really quick and then i'll just show you what it looks like with the lens and again it's the 12 to 60 millimeter lens this is going to be the 14 to 42 but it actually will work on this um as you can see this one actually has a um much bigger lens this is the kit lens for this one as opposed to the 14 to 42 which is a little bit smaller so we're just going to simply just pop that off and as you can see from the sensor this one is dual ibis again so i love that the fact that i can actually record 
and not have to worry about my video being shaky, which is not hard to change in post audit or post edit. I just rather would not want to do that. So again, we're gonna pop this in. Red, you want the red dot here to match up with the red dot there. Then you just simply just, and it clicks in place. And honestly, it's not as heavy as I thought it would have been with a much larger lens, but it's got the same grip just like my G7. So I really look forward to doing a little bit of comparison between the two. So again, this is my new vlogging camera. This is the Panasonic G85, and I will still be using the G7, which I'm currently filming this on right now. It'll be serving as my B-roll camera. So again, I wanna thank everybody for watching this video. If this video was helpful. Please hit that thumbs up. Again, hit that subscribe button, that way you don't miss content when I drop it. And I want to thank everybody for watching. My name is Black Apino, the Apple Guy, and have a great week.